Welcome to another Whiteboard Wednesday where I'm gonna break down and explain a wholesaling and house flipping tip, strategy, topic, definition, concept, something to help you become a better real estate investor. And on today's video, we're actually gonna dive in and cover what does it mean to wholesale a house coming up. new here to this channel, I'm Jerry Norton with FlippingMastery.com and this channel is all about ways to help you make money wholesaling and flipping houses so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when new videos are released. And be sure to stay to the end because I'm going to share additional videos and resources to really help you implement and take action with what you're learning today. Okay, so let's dive in. What does it mean to wholesale a house? What I love about wholesaling as a strategy is that you can make money in real estate without ever having to own or manage any properties. And for some people, that's a really fascinating idea and concept because it really limits your risk. Wholesaling is one of the lowest barriers to entry into real estate because you don't actually own the property. As soon as you own real estate, your risk goes way up, whether you're fixing and flipping or you're doing rental properties, whereas wholesaling, that's not how it works. So let me explain. Wholesaling is the concept of flipping a contract, not a property, a contract. Let me draw it on the whiteboard. Let's say that this is a piece of paper and it's a contract, a binding, a legal binding contract between you and a seller. So there's a seller, seller agrees to sell you the house. This piece of paper now is a document that prevents the seller from selling it to somebody else and it commits you to buy in the house. So initially when we wholesale, you are the buyer. On the contract it says, I am the buyer, okay? Now that's the initial uh, step one in the wholesaling process. And we call this a purchase and sale agreement. And once you have this purchase and sale agreement, then step two, is rather than step in and buy the property and take title and have to pay for it and get funding or put your own money into the deal where then you later either flip it or rent it or do something with it, rather than that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna say, you know what, I'm not going to be the end buyer. I'm gonna change the buyer from me to somebody else. And so there's a second document that we use that's called an assignment, an assignment of contract. And what this assignment of contract does is it transfers from you as the buyer to now a new person as the buyer. So on this contract, it's between you and what we call a cash buyer. That's a term for another investor who's gonna step in your shoes on the contract. So this assignment says, you hereby assign all rights of the contract to new buyer. This new buyer then is agreeing to all of the terms of the original contract with the seller. Now what's cool about this is when you assign that contract, you do it for a fee. And it could be $2,000, $5,000, $10,000, $15,000, $20,000, or anything you want, right? Whatever the buyer, the cash buyer is willing to pay. Now as a wholesaler, what you do is you learn what the values are. You get a property and you say, here's what a cash buyer will pay. So for example, if a cash buyer will pay $60,000 for that deal because you understand their buy criteria, you understand their formula for what's a good deal for them, and you know that they'll pay $60,000 for that house, then you go to the seller and you negotiate a contract here for $50,000. So you have a contract for $50,000, you have a cash buyer that would pay $60,000. You assign this property for a $10,000 assignment fee or what we call a wholesale fee. So in essence, you're gonna make $10,000 for finding this good deal, passing it on to a cash buyer through this assignment contract. Now, once the cash buyer agrees to this and signs that assignment, and let's say that this contract says that you're gonna close on that purchase in 30 days. You got a 30 day window. You find your cash buyer on day three, 27 more days to closing. Once you assign that contract to that cash buyer, that cash buyer is gonna come to closing and at that closing, they're gonna come with $60,000. Of the $60,000, 50 is gonna go to who? The seller, because that's the original contract that the seller gets. Is the seller getting any more or less than the original contract? No, they're getting exactly what was agreed upon, 50,000. That 50,000 goes to the seller at the closing 
And then the other $10,000, because remember they agreed to pay 60, goes to you, the wholesaler. Now you don't pay closing fees, you don't come to the closing with funding, you don't do any of that when you do a traditional assignment. You walk out of there with a $10,000 check and you just did a wholesale deal. That is the essence wholesaling explained in a nutshell. Now I've got hundreds of videos where I kind of break down each and every different aspect of wholesaling that you can watch here on the channel. But I wanna make sure that you have a really good overview of what this process looks like. So there's a couple things that we look at in the business. Let me draw this out a little bit. I'm gonna erase this on the whiteboard here. But if you think about it, there are two sides of the business when it comes to wholesaling. So if I were to draw a line down the middle here, we have what we call here acquisitions, right? Which is getting the contract. So this is, we're just gonna put down here, get the contract, get the contract. And then we have over here, what we call dispositions. Dispositions is where we exit the contract, right? So this is all about what we call motivated sellers, people that want to sell their property at a discount. That's over here under acquisitions. And then dispositions is all about finding cash buyers for those deals. And we break the business up into really two parts. Acquisitions really comes down to three things. We have to find leads. So we find leads. We have to analyze those leads to determine what our buy price is, what our maximum allowable offer is. And then we have to make an offer to that seller. So we find, we analyze, we make offers. By doing that, we're gonna get contracts. Once we get those contracts, we pass over that contract to the disposition side of the business. Uh, big wholesale companies that really do a lot of deals, they break these out into actually departments. So you have an acquisitions team doing that. Once they get the contract, it goes over to dispositions and then dispositions works with those cash buyers and gets those deals to the closing. And actually that's when you make your money as a wholesaler. I gotta tell you, um, I do fix and flip deals all across the country in every state, as long as it's a deal that fits my criteria as a good deal. I've got systems in place, I've got capital in place to buy houses, fix them up and flip them. That's what I do, I've been doing this full time for 15 years and I'm looking for more deals and there's an opportunity for you if you're interested where you can find these deals. I'll give you some tools, I'll give you resources, I'll give you training to go out in your market, find, analyze, get a contract on these deals and for every deal you bring me that meets my criteria, my criteria, I'll pay you $10,000, okay? Pay you $10,000. I'll essentially be your cash buyer, just like we talked about here in wholesaling. So if that's something that's interesting to you and you wanna learn more about how you can become a finder for me and get paid $10,000 for every deal that you find and bring to me that meets my criteria, then I've got a free training where I break it down, I show you everything you need to know. Just go to my10kcheck.com and register for that free training. And I've got a really good resource for you. You're gonna love this. It's a three-part video series here on the channel. If you haven't seen it, it's one of my most popular video series. It's where I took a deal in Indianapolis and I wholesaled it from A to Z, start to finish. I broke up the whole process in three different videos and actually made a $22,000 profit wholesaling that house. So you can learn a ton because I'm using a real live deal and a real live case study to show you, even getting on the phones. And so it's really cool, you'll love it. I'll put a link to the playlist that has all those videos, those three videos in that series, so you can check it out. It's the best way to really learn the process and see it in action when it comes to wholesaling. So check that out too. And hey, I wanna thank you for joining me on this video. If you're new to this business and you're learning about wholesaling, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. I've got hundreds of videos on the channel and new videos coming out every single week. This is the number one channel for all things wholesaling and flipping here on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe and don't forget, it's not about the money. We talk a lot about the money. It's really about having the time and freedom to have, be, do, and give everything that God has in store for you. That's what it's all about and I'll see you on the next video.